Hello everyone. So I'm here with the Asrock B660 Pro RS. So this was uh, a bird that I purchased like one year ago already for my initial uh, B660 roundup. And uh, we, we like we figured out that as soon as we tested it that the performance was terrible. So we just left it inside of the box and forgot about it. And now it's time to seal with a new eye, with a new perspective, now that we found out about the clock stretching issues and I finally have some time, I mean, to do some more testing. And so we will go here and we'll do a quick Cinebench run comparison just to show you how clock stretching works and another board that is heavily affected by that. So let's see, we'll go with high priority because we don't want any background process to influence our results and that's Cinebench starting without any offset and this should give us around 1500 points maybe even a little bit less um, with the default like no offset undervolt no offset uh, overvolt this board is using about 60 watts of power and it is providing again ab about 1500 points uh, when we just I found out that the sweet spot for this particular sample, like combination of CPU and board. So yeah, oh yeah, 1,300 actually. Yeah, yeah. So that's terrible, really. Because yeah, I think I was testing plus five before. Uh, so yeah, with this particular board, uh, the sweet spot is plus 15. And this is incredible. Like the, the way this works is, I mean, doesn't work. It's just completely nonsense. And uh, really a, a shameful situation for for Intel. Now we'll go to the BIOS, advanced settings, also Twitter, voltage configuration, voltage offset mode, offset voltage, plus 15, save and exit. The load line stays at 4, level 4, I didn't test much about that. Let's take a quick look at the system, what well, is pretty. Uh, yeah, the, the font fan are, are off because the weather here, I mean, the temperature is very cold here. That's our Vega 56. This is like a very nice um, Warzone build for 150 FPS at Warzone with some memory tuning, DDR4. So yeah, we're adding again. Let's go to Cinebench. Let's get to high performance, high priority, and off we go. And this is gonna be much faster. I think we're gonna get around 1,700 points. You can, yeah, the, the, the stock cooler is going pretty loud. This board doesn't have low light, light, light load as MSI does, so there's no way to undervolt here. I mean, not as far as I know now. I'm, I'm really interested in looking more into that, but so far nothing. Here it is, 1,800. So that's just like one third more performance, just by doing a little offset on the voltage. Uh, yeah. So that's another one for you. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about this issue, yeah, I have two more videos that I made in the past about the clock stretching issues on B660 motherboards and locked Alder Lake CPUs. Oh, again, this also goes for some Z970, I guess, uh, just like low quality Z970, probably as rock as Z970s, because as rock is, is a really crappy motherboard dealer. That's all. Ciao, ciao.